Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, this next video you're going to see is me actually putting in my Elgato gaming capture card and my Skyblaze uh, Sky, Bla Sky Tech Blaze 2 gaming PC. Uh, I will show you what you need to do in order to remove the wireless card uh, and other things uh, you might, you will have to use to uh, remove your uh, graphics card. I knew what it was. I knew what it was. Calm down, calm down. I knew what it was. Graphics card, but it'll be in detail on the next video, so check it out. Have a good one. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the Elgato Gaming Capture Card, the one I had to put into my Skytech Gaming PC. Uh, with that being said, you had some trials and tribulations with it. Uh, you have to remove your wireless card in the Blaze 2 a version of the SkyTech Gaming PC in order to put your Elgato Gaming Capture Card in the PCIe slot and capture your gameplay in 4K or 1080p 60 frames. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. So as I was working on my PC setup and my new gaming setup, uh, I had to put an Elgato gaming capture card in my gaming PC that I just purchased from SkyTech Gaming. Uh, shout out to them. They're the ones that told me what I needed to do. So I had to remove my wireless card, which took up the only available at the time. Uh, let's see here this PCIe slot so I was able to remove that but in order to do that in a SkyTech gaming PC if your graphics card is a GeForce RTX or GTX MSI you will have to take this you'll have to remove your graphics card put the Elgato gaming cartridge in then put it back in so that's what I'm currently doing and then I'll give you another video of uh, what I'm trying what I'm when I'm finished and I'll show you how this Elgato is working on my PC thanks able to get everything back in there safely correctly graphics card locked back in like it never left cover all that and we're gonna get this started yep and See, make sure everything's still working right. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, excuse my cable management here. But, once you get the Elgato in, take one, put it in the out, I mean the in. Take it from there, and that goes to your console. Then, you take the out, which is right there. HDMI and that goes to your monitor okay but excuse the cable management sorry <laughs> have a good day and we are back up and running good to go so now what I have to do is make sure I have a hard line now into my computer instead of wireless so, but we're good to go.